shameless. You're not in, in the Europa League. You're Europa, you're Europa, you're Europa League. Let me tell them one. Manchester United 2, Barcelona 1. Guys, this game, what a roller coaster. I mean, we look at the first half and I couldn't believe what I was watching. Are we watching Tenag football? Are we watching all of these players um, play with such um, timidness? And that, that, that is a word I would like to use. I got that from a comment uh, last week when Sancho was called a timid player, when we look at um, mentality. And this is one of the things we've been talking about in this game, mentality. Steph was talking about it. Are we going to go into this place where we start almost giving up? I don't think so. This is a new team. We're talking about Ten Hag. We're talking about Ten Hag football. This is a brand new Manchester United. And in today's game, I saw a roller coaster of emotions, but I saw players like Martinez, Varane, Luke Shaw, Brun Fernandes. These are players for me who are completely just amazing. These are players who have stood out this whole season. And it's amazing what we saw. Look, first half, I've got to be honest, sloppy passing. Um, we kept getting dispossessed and there was no creativity there. We didn't get Rashford on the ball enough. I just felt like there was a lot missing. Um, a lot missing, And when we look at players like Rashford, who have been on phenomenal form this season, I just felt like we need to get him on the ball more. There was something missing. I felt like the fullbacks today, a lot of defensive work, Luke Shaw and Jorg Dalla, um, who came on. Um, Wan-Bissaka, look, he's, he's not necessarily an attacking fullback. But today, he wasn't bad. But again, going forward, I don't think Wan-Bissaka is the man for fullback. I think he lacks that... Uh, positional awareness. I think he lacks the attacking ability to get forward and make those runs um, in in the opposition box. I think Jorg Dalot comes on. We saw that straight away. And that's what Tenag was saying to him when Dalot's coming off the bench. You see, Tenag is saying, runs, 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 runs. And Wan-Bissaka doesn't really offer that. Wan-Bissaka has been in fantastic form, but he didn't offer that. Jorg Dalot comes on. Yes, he's not really involved in any of the goals, but that's what we needed. And today, Anthony comes off the bench, Garnacho comes off the bench, the directness that we didn't get from Rashford early on, we, we get from Garnacho. And I don't feel like Kunde was, was troubled, uh, troubled enough today. I felt like Anthony coming on just offered some even more directness from the right hand side and he gets the goal. It's not even about how he gets the goal. It's about, you know, not putting your foot totally through, not putting too much power in it. It's about placing it and he'd done that beautifully. Yes, a bit of luck from two blocks from uh, Garnacho and Bruno. But Bruno puts his, his physicality in the way. We win the ball back and we score the goal. It's an impressive win for Manchester United because we would be saying that, we wouldn't be saying this now, you know, years ago if we're saying in, in two, three years time, we'll be beating Barcelona. We'll be beating them comfortably. I would say these two legs games against Barcelona were somewhat comfortable. I wouldn't say it was easy. I wouldn't say that it was the easiest game we've ever had. I wouldn't say it was difficult. I would say fairly comfortable. Yes, De Jong, a fantastic ball carrier in midfield for Barcelona. Um, Araujo, these are players who are very good. Rafinha is a good player. I know a lot of people don't rate him. Send him back to Leeds, people were saying in the comments today. Hilarious. But for me, we're talking about very dangerous players. And again, Luke Shaw. My goodness, Luke Shaw, underrated. I think he's one of the best fullbacks in the world right now. Luke Shaw has been phenomenal. The composure. The, the discipline, the physicality, probably one of our most physical players on the pitch, Luke Shaw, underrated for me this season. I know a lot of people say, yes, he's, 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 he can be very suspect positionally as well. But for me, one of our best players this season, just like Martinez, just like Varane, Casemiro. Just, it's just beautiful, Casemiro. It's just beautiful, the physicality, the long-range passing. He's just world-class. And I know a lot of people had a lot of doubts from him earlier on when Scott McTominay was actually taking his place. But you look at someone like Casemiro, who's just world-class. He's, he's been there, five-time Champions League winner. It's just amazing. And Fred, geez, I, I don't get Fred, honestly. I don't get Fred. And this is why I have to keep asking people. Is Fred one of these players who we look at in the summer and say, do we need to get rid? Inconsistencies in his game. First half today, probably our worst player. But then second half, we say, Jesus, man, it could be man of the match. Him, Garnacho or Anthony or Martinez and Varane. There were a couple of players there. But when I look at, you know, the difference makers, obviously Varane and Martinez. Anthony comes on, scores the goal. Garnacho directness, just so, so good coming off the bench. Garnacho is, he's a game changer. But Fred, he's one of those players you have to look at and say, consistency. He's consistent at being inconsistent. That's what Fred is. 
And that could be a problem. He can cost us the game or he can win us the game. And Fred today in that second half deserves a man of the match performance. Again, always active out of possession to tackles, interceptions. He's got a worldy pass on him here and there. Good crosses into the box today. And speaking about crosses, they course today in the first half. It's interesting. I expected him to play in the number 10 position, but we saw Sancho occupying that number 10 position in the first half. Bruno drifting into midfield at times. But they course for me is quite simply a player who's a lot more dependable in midfield areas. He can link up the play very well. He can build up very well tackles, uh, very active out of possession. And he's an engine. He's an engine. But there's a stat here that you guys are not gonna, really going to like because he's in the 40th percentile of aerial battles won this season out of all the forward plays in the Premier League, which is poor. We're talking about a six foot seven striker who's not wi really winning any aerial battles in the air. He's not winning any of them. And we saw today crosses into the box, he's ducking them. It's a bit strange. It's a bit strange because you expect a man like that to win headers, to win the aerial battles, but he's not doing that quite enough. So it's an odd one with, with, with Vekos. Look, you, you get what you get with him. You know, I, I do think he's important to the system. He allows other, other players to flourish. Sancho, Rashford. And speaking of Rashford today, I didn't, I didn't think he was great. Again, we didn't get him on the ball enough. But again, some of the passing, I think he's slightly selfish at times. But Rashford is in the form of his life. And when he's performing, he is performing. But for me, the man of the match would have to be Varane. Varane today didn't put a foot wrong. Defensively aware, as always. Composed. That last minute interception he got. <laughs> it that would be 2-2. And then we're going into extra time. We've got a final on Sunday against Newcastle. If it wasn't for him, draw. Players have to play another half an hour of football. Varane, for me, man of the match. Guys, th this is amazing. This is, this is a brand new team. We're looking at a team who... We're still in four competitions. We, we, we can get a quadruple. Look, look, relax, Paolo, relax. But it's just amazing. People were, were not even expecting Man United to do what they've been doing. Nothing. People were saying, fifth, let us get fifth as long as we can have a good style of football, attacking, pressing style of football, uh, confidence. That's all we asked for. But look at us now, third in the league, three points behind um, Man City. Still in Europa League now. It felt like a final against Barca, but we've still got loads of games to go. Sunday, Carabao Cup against Newcastle. Can we win that? We win that trophy for Ten Hag first season. It's, it's beautiful. This man has changed this football club. You saw today the mentality last season. If we're, if we're losing in the first half like that, we're capitulating. Look, look at last season, Leicester, 4-2. Um, Everton, we bottle it. So many games last season, Liverpool, Man City. This season, we've played some of the big teams. Most of the big teams in the league. And now in the Europa League, we can win this league. Now, of course, uh, rotation is vital. Jog Dalol needs to come back in. Malassia needs to come back in. Maguire and Lindelof will have to play this season. But guys, it's been a phenomenal day for Manchester United. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream earlier on. Let's go, Man United.